Well, hello. This one's unnamed, I believe. Oh no, hang on, this one's... Two ninety five is its number. I don't know its name. Some uh, big ruts. It's twentieth uh, of Jan, and uh, yeah, this is the second lane of the day. I've been. <laughs> I was in such a good mood, I got up at the crack, I'd only had three hours sleep, got up at the crack of dawn and it didn't matter, I was going dirt biking, I was all happy. The first trail I go on and some person, I'm not going to swear, decides to have a go at me for riding where I'm allowed to be riding and it just, it really puts me in a bad mood, it, it, it just... <sighs> That was nearly a mistake. <laughs> I could just fit through there. I nearly fell to the left. Of course, I can't put my foot down, so that would have been a, a wet day out for the second lane of the day. As you can see, very rutted. We're under a tree line here. I don't really want to be taking this thing in deep water. What you can't see is there's a little root under there. That's going to be deep, that is. Come on! <laughs> Hello! Hi, yeah. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Good day, yeah. Lovely. Um, hold on a second. Uh, worn out already, look. Yeah, it's trouble is this thing's waterproof and this one isn't. That's going to be deep, I can tell it, and I just... I don't need it right now. So this one looks like it gets some uh, serious use by uh, our 4 by 4 friends. Well actually no, it's got to be the farmer actually because these are too deep to be recreational 4x4 four four use. So the other thing is, not to keep making excuses of course, but I will. Uh, yeah, I got the bike MOT'd and I wanted him to get a chain and uh, sprocket set, but he couldn't quite get it in time. So I'm like on my last legs and if I do get stuck in some deep mud, I'm just going to end up <laughs> shearing off the what's left of my sprocket and I should just get through today. With a bit of luck. I didn't really want to be riding on this, but I didn't want to bring the. I've got a little Yamaha DT. Come on, Sven. I think we're getting close to the end. I'm hot.
Ah, yes, good to be out. I've gone over my uh, annoyance now with the <sighs> tempting to. Looks like the pedestrians go through the woods there, and there would be room for me. But of course, shouldn't venture from the. And you know, you've got to religiously play to those rules. You have. Stay on the beaten track. It's annoying, isn't it? Even though the walkers don't, clearly. <laughs> My not waterproof sat nav. <laughs> My elastic band there. Uh, Backup didn't seem to work very well. <laughs> yeah, normally I'd uh, just rely on maps, but I've got this uh, GPS thing. Ooh, these are deep. <laughs> these are deep. It's always disconcerting when you hear the engine go. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're going along. I'm glad I spotted that fall off. I'd be annoyed if I lost the sat nav on the second trail of the day. Does this give us a name? No, L'Oreal House. Correctly signed at both ends. 